welcome, welcome over to Chessmas TV episode 400. Yes, I'm your host, Wiz. I'm so excited to hit this milestone. We are going to have so much fun today. We're going to play a chess variant that you have probably never heard of, but it does have some serious followers. It actually exists out there on the internet already. As you can see above me, the official name or the original name is Kung Fu Chess, but it's gone by some other names. And right now, the best, ways to play, the best place to play it online is actually a place called Judo Chess. You can go to judochess.com and play it there. That's what we're going to do today, play with some of the members of the community. We're going to also have some Chess Wizzy people who are wandering over there. So it's going to be a mix of people who have never heard of Chess with TV and people who have never heard of Kung Fu Chess kind of mixing together. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So what is the variant? Kung Fu Chess is a variant where you don't have to take turns. You just move as fast as you can. Isn't that awesome? Something that would never be possible on an actual chess board. But since we have computers, we can now do that. So without further ado, let's go over to the browser window thing. Turn that on. Yeah, okay, create table. You can't see me clicking that. I'll do two players and I'll just be like, okay, and we'll see who wants to play this game. So let's uh, sit down. So we're gonna see a game of two player Kung Fu chess. Whoops, 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 click to start. Okay, perfect. We're gonna click to start this game. I'm going to enlarge the board. There's a chat box under there. I'm gonna enlarge the board so we don't have to look at it. We're also gonna move this behind me. Good, and let's enlarge this some more. And maybe like this, so you can see the board. Are the clocks, where do the clocks show up? I'm playing against Stealth. So I'm going to just play a game. We're going to see how it goes. So click to start. Here we go. A game against Stealth. So oh, this looks all 3D. How do you make this 2D? Um, is that a thing? Oh, these are different game modes. Um, he's moving his pieces. Oh, I need to move my pieces. I don't want this thing to look all 3D. Oh, my king. That's not where I should move. Uh, let's put this here. Oh, so you see, you can just move all your pieces as quickly as you wish, which is an interesting twist to the game. Now, once you move your piece, you can see a little t yellow bit that's counting down. And once that gets to zero, then you can move that piece again. So isn't that awesome? Your piece is just like tired for a while. Ah, he's coming for me. Let's take that. Okay, we're doing okay. Uh, do -do 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 -do. He's going to take me. And I'm going to take him. I'm going to bring my bishop in here. Let's bring the knight back to defend that area. Uh, let's bring the queen up. Oh, no, the pawns are coming for me. Um, this is going to be bishop takes pawn coming right up here. Come on, go, go, go. Bishop takes pawn. Yes. His pawn comes back. He's bringing in more attackers in this area. Let's bring in the this knight. And then at the same time, we'll take this bishop and defend it by this pawn. Oh, my bishop took his bishop. Let's defend that with some pawns. Bring the knight in right here. Here comes his knight. Okay, so I've got... His pieces are frozen for a while after they move. So that's going to give me a chance here. What's, what's this rook doing? Oh, it just runs over me. Man, that really hurt. Uh, I think I can take this knight now. Oh, no, he's too quick. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thinking about... Oh, this pawn just defended everything. Now his queen is consuming me. Okay, so he's pretty much... Went, Whoa, I just went to take his rook and it moved out of the way. Did you see that? I'm going rook takes d3, and all of a sudden his rook is moving because the pieces take time to move along the board, and... Um, while they're in transit, their target could actually move out of the way. So my last chance here is to go kill him with my queen, and that's not really a chance. I mean, if I move my queen down here to like f6, f7, he could just take it. So, oh, he's moved his king. Now this is going to work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, if I just move right here, I can then take his king. But no, his king's going to move before my queen does. I need to get that queen defended. Uh, there's no way to do that. I better resign this game. So one thing I've learned from this game is I want to switch to piece style isometric classic there we go that's what i needed that's why i lost the game obviously the piece style was wrong okay let's take his king oh no i already resigned good game and any other settings we need to change no music please oh i've lost connection i've lost connection completely to all things uh that's bad it's okay uh i need to I need to change my internet connection here it's bad for those who are watching. It's great because I'm creating a YouTube video right now, so you can just watch a video of me with no connection to the internet. But we need to connect here and get reconnected. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, are we connected? Let's see. I think we're connecting. All right, we are back. Let's downgrade my... Bit rate. This is going to be difficult because there could be some latency in this in the uh, game, but we do what we can. Okay, let's turn off the music. Sound effects are okay. That's okay. Black pieces are blue. Uh, that's a that's a mode you could turn on. Mm, okay, no, we won't do that. Need master fast control, faster mouse control, according to one person. 
Okay, lost connection, now back. Let's play one more game where the pieces are actually looking properly uh, from the top down. So as you could see, the game was actually kind of slow paced in the sense that the pieces travel slowly across the board. And after they arrive, the counter that the timer that has to run to zero before they can move again is also very slow. So it's actually kind of like a slow chess game because you sit there and you're thinking, oh, I need to sit down. Okay, and you're thinking, where should my piece move next? So let's come out here and, oh, oh that's going to be an area of attack, serious area. Let's just play F6 and bring the knight, like, down to F7 here. It looks like there's going to be a lot of aggression on this square. Oh, he's bringing up defense. Okay, so it's, this is going to be pretty rough. Let's bring the king up. It's all about E5 here, but it looks like I could, oh, nope, he got me. Okay, so everything is about e5. I'm, I'm goading him into moving his bishop down here. Really hoping he'll do it. Come on, man. Move your bishop. Okay, let's bring this rook here. So what's going to happen? I could take this. Oh, his rook's... Nope, I thought his rook was on the way, but it's not. If a piece is kind of moving into your territory, that gives you the chance to... Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that pawn. Watch this. Oh, no, defend it. <laughs> he's, like, he's trying to make two moves in a row, but I'm, I'm looking good. There's no way he's going to beat me that way. So let's bring the rest of my pieces in here. So I've actually survived the opening. Now I've got, what do I have? The One more piece than he does. I, I did very well on the E5 square here in the middle of the board. So now, now that we're just kind of carefully maneuvering, if I play rook takes F2, when my rook is almost there, he boop, moves it out of the way, and then he can just capture me later. So I need to think very carefully about these next few moves. Let's see, what kind of attack will I be playing here? Let's move the king out of this diagonal so that I can move my knight, unpin that knight a little bit. One of the things I could do is double up my rooks. I think that could be useful. Kind of, oh, he's bringing his, oh, that's, that's a, I need to be thinking about this. Let's, let's play here. Looks like there's a free pawn right there. Yep, yep, and now he needs to watch out about queen takes rook. I can't just play it blindly. Oh, oh no, he got me. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna play here and here at the same time. Coming for him. Yeah, he had to run. Oh wow, our positions are just falling apart. Let's move the knight and defend the queen. He's coming in this way. Okay, so everything's moving at once here. The queen could take this, and I think that's gonna work. No, no, no! I lost my rook. Okay, I'm gonna take this queen. Let's advance these pawns now. Pull this bishop back. Get away, bishop. This is actually looking pretty good. Oh, he's gonna promote. He's going to promote. I can't stop him. Mm. This is dangerous. Put the, put the rook here. Okay, so we've got these two pawns. They're very powerful. Don't get checkmated. Let's advance the king. Okay, so looking good. I'm going to push this pawn and bring the bishop in at the same time to defend this pawn so he doesn't take it. All right, that looks good. Now, he's got to watch to do something with his rook here. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep advancing my king. This looks good in this area of the board. This looks like a free knight. Let's defend that knight now. And then I'll take his rook. Yes, I got his rook. I think I've got this game. Okay, watch out now. Um, oh, he takes that. But now I get this, and I'm going to promote also. I'm going to have two extra queens. I think I can win this way. So you can see it's like a slow motion dance underwater. If you imagine like people doing the polka dance underwater. But the timing is actually really important because if you go to capture his piece, and at the same time his piece moves, you don't capture it. You just got to whoof into the space where he was. And man, that's frustrating. So I think I've actually got this game with two extra queens. We're going to see how two queens can float over. Now, one of the reasons this seems like floating to me Let's move the queen down here and protect uh, my fortress of stuff. Two queens should be enough. Is that there's actually faster game modes. You can turn this up to play really, really fast. And there's also lots of other fun game modes, like four players. So next we're going to play a four player version and see how that goes. And I do realize that my internet connection is not very good right now. It's the best it can be. Okay, so you ready for the win? Oh, he just moved right next to me, but I can take this taken with my queen. It's actually really hard to survive with just the king because any move you make, your king is just frozen there. It can't move for so long. It's a sitting duck. So it's a losing proposition to be fighting against two queens. All right, so I just won a game. That's fantastic. Let's take a look at the different game modes. If we go back to the quick leave table here, 
uh, there is a four-way game where I can sit down and join. So let's, whoops, I can't join this, but I can watch it. So let's see how these four players play. So you can see very, very fast-paced moves. Can I join next? Look at those timers flying down the screen. By the way, if you want to play this online, just browse to judochess.com. That's J-U-D-O chess, and you can try this for yourself. There are some insanely good players on this server, and um, and there's also me, which is mm, not so good. So there's, this is actually four player, and it's not two against two. It's not a team game. What you're seeing here is each player is just trying to get make themselves win. You can see black doesn't have much left, but once you're down to a few pieces, you can focus on what you have left, and you can actually do a lot better because there's way too much going on when you have a lot of pieces. Now there's a game mode that's really crazy I just heard about, which is Crazy House. Crazy House Sumo Chess, Kung Fu Chess, whatever this is. Oh, black is gone. When your king is captured, all your chess pieces just disappear. So white, let's see, I like white's position. Now it's just white against red. The pawns move like sideways like this. This is super weird. Like white is going to promote across the board like this. Meanwhile, red heading in a sideways direction. This is such a crazy variant, but it's very, very deep. So if you're interested in learning high skill ceiling variants, you should definitely check it out. I love variants that have a high skill ceiling. By that, I mean you can play it for a long time and there's still room to improve. Some of the variants we've played on this show, not so much. This one, lots of room to improve. So you can see white advancing his pawns. But did you see that? Red, red picked up two pawns at once. It's a very common tactic is to wham, there goes the road, is to capture something and then at the same time capture whatever's defending it. If there's like three things defending it, we'll just capture all the things at once. If you can just capture everything, then you're good to go. So white lost all of his pawns that he was promoting because red just in a flurry was like, take, 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 and they were gone. So red's looking like he's winning, but it's not actually so clear. It's easy to lose pieces in this chess variant. You can see the pieces move pretty fast, but they are limited in their speed. When the queen moves, say, from whatever this is, c10, d11, whatever, down here to the other area of the board, it um, it goes over time. And it is possible for the opponent to move out of the way and not get captured. So red sitting at two queens, it's a matter of one slip up here before the queen captures white's king. It's not like you can checkmate necessarily, but it's like you're going to walk into his king by mistake. Three queens up to do the trick. Oh, did you see that? Just eat up that queen. It's a simple matter of just guarding enough pieces, and there is no way to get in. Okay, so one person sat away, stood up so I could sit down, and now I'm going to try this game with them. Are you ready? Oh, I'm the green. I'm green. That's super weird. Let's put the bishops here. Now, uh, the enemy is already taking my rook. Save the rook. Oh, oh, I'm doing okay. Okay, don't, don't let the knight get taken. I just got to watch my own stuff right now. There's so much going on. Whoa. Uh, I think I'm experiencing some latency. Oh, my king! Get away, king! Uh, I cannot even move. As you could see, when I drag my piece, it just kind of uh, sits there. That's because the server's really waiting for my move before <laughs> before it responds. And my internet connection's really, really, really poor. Like, really poor. Um, and so that's actually a big problem. I'm all blurry right now in the live stream. I wonder if I could turn down the live stream. 150 bits per second. Is that going to do it? It's like, I just want like one pixel for the chessboard, one pixel for ChessWiz, because none of my pieces could move. So let's try again. Uh, and in this game, I'm going to try to move my pieces uh, before they get captured. That would be nice. Let's see how it goes. Are you ready? I'm the green. Ah, oh, here comes black. Take him, take him. Whew. That was close. Oh, and there's something going on here. No, you can't capture that way. Okay, so let's move some pieces. Bring, bring out the bishops like this, maybe. Uh, should I castle? Whoa, enemy incoming! Ah! Take that stuff. Okay, I did manage to move the pieces. That's good. Let's castle. Is that possible? Uh, no. Oh, it is. Perfect. Okay, let's get over here. The safety zone. Whoa, black's coming in. Okay, so I'm mostly playing defensively here, but I think it's a good idea to just not trade. You know what I mean? Because if you lose stuff, I mean, you're not getting that back. Ah! Get back here. Oh, take that thing. Okay, I did capture that knight after it rampaged most of my army. There's an enemy queen. Picked it up. Okay, so I'm actually one of the three remaining players. I'm kind of letting them duke it out in the middle there. Let's bring the knights in. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. There goes black. Let's go capture black. I think I'm going to just go take him. Come on, keep moving your queen like that. I'm really liking that. <gasps> two people win? Firehawk V and K? How? Let's type that in the chat here. How do two people win? Because I feel like... Oh, <laughs> it's a team game. My teammate is Firehawk V. Lol, <laughs> I'm so good at this. I just won with my team. So why does my teammate? That's great to know. Um, good thing I didn't try to go capture his king, right? Okay, here we go. So I'm facing. I'm facing toward black. I'm facing toward black. Uh, the game's been aborted. I'll play again. Wonder why that was. Sometimes you're just sitting there in the womb, and bam, you've been aborted. 
uh, which is not usually pleasant. Okay, so since we know that... Whoa, whoa, and in incoming bishops! Ah! Move, move the things! Okay, this actually looks interesting. Let's just keep taking things. No, oh. Take that queen! Oh, take that queen! Take that queen! Oh, this queen is just destroying everything. Let's castle. That queen really got away with madness. Okay, I'm going to try to... Oh, he's too quick for me. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty well here. Oh, white's, um, white's my team. Hold on. Took red right there. Okay, so I've got some pretty good looking stuff here. Let's, uh, let's inch out into the middle of the board. Red is the enemy, so let's take that. Now black is also the enemy, so let's jump down here. Oh, my teammate is apparently a pretty good player because I'm just kind of randomly winning while wandering around. Let's bring them knights into the game. I love these knights because they can guard each other. There it is! Yes, I got his king! I just took a king! Is this variant not awesome? So I'm bo mace mo bleh. I'm mostly dead weight here. I'm mostly like just, ha! Ah, he's coming! Ha! Ah, take his things! Right? And my opponent, his uh this is kinda like one against two here. Like fire hockey. He's he's taking on everybody and I'm just <laughs> just trying to survive. Okay. What am I gonna do? Take this pawn, of course. What is it just sitting in my face? Oh, he's been aborted. I don't know what that means. Uh quick start. Oh, that should be against the law. Whoa! Enemy everything. No! <laughs> okay, I just got totally invaded here on the king side, I guess that is. Let's get... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, thank you for saving me. My opponent is... Uh, my opponent... My teammate. My partner. I'm not used to saying that. I have a partner in life. This is super weird for a nerd. Like, I actually have a partner in life who's on my team. I'm not used to that. I'm used to having to handle everything myself. Okay. He just saved my life. Look. Half our opponents are gone. One is remaining. Let's bring some rooks out into the middle. Or bring some pieces out. Use all the pieces. Someone in the chat says, you are good for a first-time player. Oh, thank you. Firehawk V is the winner. So apparently my teammate is the best player because I'm just like, help, and then we win. And I usually in a, in a game like this, saying help is not the winning strategy. But apparently, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, get the bishop back. One of the techniques you can use is actually, whoa, no, no, don't take my king. One of the techniques you can use is to run away. God is rook, yes. Is to move back from, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, he's coming for me. And I step back a space because then you can actually move in again. I guess I can't castle. Uh, let's move my king for a while. Oh, black is still playing, huh? Let's go take his king. I'm gonna go get his king. Whoa, ah, oh, ah. Oh. This, is, this is hard. Taking my whole army here. Oh, I'm going to get him now. Huh. Oh, <laughs> I can't even capture one, one king. Help me out here. Um, the <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it, there have been games where one king just consumes an entire army, especially on this fast-paced mode where the pieces just recover so quickly and it's time to move again. And so you definitely have to watch out for kings. Well, this is quite the opening. Like, all of a sudden... The enemy is in your face. Get away. Okay, take this. I, I'm liking this. How, how do I take all his things on the whites? Whoa. That's a pretty good tactic, right? Just a double move, take his king in one turn. Red's coming at me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I gotta remember. White's my... Oh, I just died. Oh. <laughs> Keeping your king not captured is one of the most important things. Like, just don't leave your king in check. Or if you are staying in check... Keep an eye on that king. It's kind of like keeping something on a skillet, like frying an egg, right? It, you don't have to watch the egg being fried, but you need to keep it in mind. Keep one eye on the egg because when you turn around, your kitchen's on fire. I had one day when my partner <clears throat> on Valentine's Day thought, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll make chess with a beautiful Valentine's Day breakfast. And this was a day when... Uh, I like to sleep in because I sleep in every day. And so on this particular day, I was sleeping in and my partner was like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna capture this bishop and make some breakfast. So I wake up to the smoke alarm. I come downstairs and the kitchen is just engulfed in flames. This is a true story because my kitchen is usually engulfed in flames. So odds are, yes, it's true. And uh, it turns out you should keep an eye on things that you're cooking. In this specific case, what had happened, I know, I know you can't believe this story because it involves a partner of Chess Wiz which is a pretty unbelievable concept. Let's get the bitch back. Oh, let's take that rook. Oh, it's, it's an attack here on A3 or whatever that square is. Oh, white is my teammate. I guess I don't need it. Those bishops. Ah, those bishops. They're, they're coming at me. Whoa. Whoa. You're seeing pieces move through pieces like crazy. Let's keep moving my king. He'll never catch me if I just keep moving. Let's get the king back in here a little bit safer. Oh, this is a good close game here. 
Let's use the queen here and a pawn. Uh, this move and this move and this move. And then take that. Yeah, he didn't see it coming. Let's push. Oh, 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 oh. I actually want him to try to take me because as he's taking me, I'm going to move out of the way and then own him. So red's been overcome by my excellent opponent. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just took his queen. Did you see that? He's like, oh, look, I'm going to take his king for free. I'm on my way. Don't move, man. Don't move. I'm coming for you. Boop. And then we're just sitting next to each other. Like, and then, I took him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is such a great, great chess variant. You've got to try this if you haven't before. You can just browse to Kung Fu. Sorry. Browse to Judo Chess. You can play this yourself. I really want to castle queen side. It's hard to do because everything's stuck. Ah. It's a castle. It's a lot safer with your king on this side of the board. Oops. Yeah. Oh, whoa, did you see that? The bitches moved through each other. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, as things are moving here, uh, things are looking good. Let's keep everything safe. And oh, there goes something important. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I just lost both rooks to a bishop. In a usual test game, you're like, hmm, let's see, I have two rooks and he has a bishop. If I'm not careful, he will capture both my rooks with, whoops, there goes my king. But in this game, anything can happen, including, oh no, we lost. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We lost this game. So fortunately, back to the story, I was able to extinguish the fire. But the moral of the story is you should not, whoa, whoa. Never mind. Never mind. You, there doesn't need to be a moral. Just survive this chess game. Yeah, my king. Oh, man. How do we? No. Ah, my king. Save my king. Black could have taken my king for, oh, no. Pawns don't move backwards. I was, I was okay. Where is my king? This game is so crazy, man. Oh, man. This game is crazy. So, Black couldn't move backwards. I mean, I was afraid of his pawn moving this direction, but it can't move that direction because of the rules of pawns only going forward, which in this case is sideways over there. Man. <clears throat> okay, so now my teammate has to defeat two players all by himself. He's going to do it. Did you just see that? He just overcame an enormous red army by capturing the king. And now he's going to win. This just goes to show how great my teammate is. He was facing two giant armies, and he just won for both of us. I'll send GG to that chat box that you can't see there. I do want to play again because I'm starting to like this game. I'm going to capture right here. Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's, let's, let's just do some, we do some captures here. It's really hard to work with that area of the board. Okay, so we're going to go on the offense here. Oh, no! I meant to play king e1. I think that's e1. But my mouse slip caused my king to not move, and then a bishop visited the territory. We lost. Okay, I'm going to go on the offense. I'm going to be like, what can we do here to really, really attack? Oh, no. I, we can't do anything. I can barely handle light squares on this part of the board. Here comes my knight. Did you see that? It just died. Oh, no. Just don't die. My, my partner is just trying to keep me alive. Did you see that? Like, watch out, man. There's something in your face. And then he just captures it for me. Oh, no. Oh, I can see my partner died. It's pretty tough two against one. Not only are you fighting a giant horde of enemy pieces, but you're also... Uh, let's try another chess variant. Another mode. Let's try another mode. There's a couple other game modes on here. I'll type last one of this mode. And then we'll try one of the other game modes on this server. I'm going to capture on A3. If it kills me, get ready for A3. Oh, man, he doesn't even let me do it. Ah, oh, okay. I'm still fighting. See, this opening's okay, right? Oh, you can't play. The, there's no pre-move is what I'm seeing here. There's no pre-move. Whoa! He's distracting me with that rook. Did you see that? His rook goes flying across my face like a meteor. And I'm like, whoa, look at that rook. Meanwhile, my king. Okay, I got that black king right there. Let's see what's left. Okay, just one more enemy king. One more enemy king, and we're going to do it. Let's bring the pieces out, you know? Okay. Oh, I bet you saw that coming. I bet you saw that coming, but I did not. I'm like, whoa, he's queen so fast. Where's he going? Oh, oh. Okay, so we could play two-player fast standard, or we could play bug house next. One, two, P, fast, then bug house. Bug house sounds crazy. There's a chess variant. You maybe have heard of it called bug house, where four players play on two chess boards. 
And when you add a piece to your, when you capture a piece, it goes to your partner and your partner can add it to his board like in Crazy House where on his turn he can add it instead of, oh yeah, we win, good game. Okay, so let's stand up, leave the table and create a fast two-player game. So this is going to be a game where it's two, it's one against one, but the pieces move as quickly as we were just observing. So this is going to be a fast-paced game. Ready, go! Let's build a little house here. Okay. Generally speaking, you should capture things, so that, that works okay. Let's see. Looking good. Everything's looking strong here. Let's bring the rooks to the middle. And, and we're now going to move in. Ooh. Oh, I'm a little slow. <laughs> I'm a little slow. My entire army just got eaten. Oh. My entire army, my entire army got eaten by one. Oh no! Oh, I was too slow again. It was a good idea to. That's not it's a bad, bad idea though. Actually, to like move right next to where he can take me, hoping that he won't react in time. So this is all about my rook. Oh no! No, it's not all about my rook anymore. It's all about my king. This is all about my king right now. It has to move through check in order to escape. Come on, king, you can do it. Move through check. Ah, oh, I'll play you again. Okay, so in this game, we're going to defend on the white squares. We're going to bring everything to white. This is looking pretty good. Okay. We're going queenside. Let's, let's attack on f4. Everything on f4. Go, go, go. Everything is really focused on f4 right now. And we're looking good. Moving into this area. Yep, now it's all e5, d5, whatever that is. Yes, I picked up his queen. Come on, bishop. Fast game. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm winning. I'm winning. And that pawn is a sitting duck. And then... Put this on light. He can't hurt me! Oh, my pawn. My h2 pawn is in danger. Okay, so now I can't lose. All I have to do is be super smart. Watch out, man. I'm coming for you. Watch out. Oh! Oh yeah, I have to get all the things up in here. You you gotta get checkmated, man. Okay, so I gotta be really careful so he doesn't just take all my things with his king. Like my king, for example. He's gonna walk next to my king. <laughs> He's gonna walk next to my king. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm so winning, man. This is great. And then he'll take my king. You can actually do that. Okay, so good games. That's two player fast. I'm gonna stand up now. And we're gonna try... Oh, fire. Oh, oh wait, 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 hold on. We gotta try that one more time because my partner from the other matches wants to join right now. So I gotta I gotta show him one game. I gotta show him how I was the true strength in that partnership. Like he was like second rate, you know. I gotta demonstrate that right now. Okay, this isn't a very good opening. He has a lot more space than I do. Up oh, there goes my queen. Oh my king. Oh. Oh, I was a little slow. A little slow. I, I want to try some of the other game modes though. So although although um although that was a lot of fun and I would love to beat that guy, he was pretty good. Did you see how like in one move he moved his entire army to the fourth rank? That's what you're gonna be facing if you join this server. So there's some other modes. There's crazy house. Let's try that. Let's try some crazy house. So you can add pieces. Oh, this is gonna be slow, but it's gonna be crazy house. Oh, I should be in kid of that bishop. Okay, slow mode. Okay, so I can think through my moves, but it's crazy house, which means when you capture something, it, you can add it back to the board, which is definitely crazy. Okay, so like I can I can think. Man, this is super weird. Now you see what I mean when I was saying slow motion molasses. Move the knight up here. And I'm like, look how slow everything moves. It's because I'm used to this game mode. Okay, so let's move some things into position. We're going to try this amazing tactic here where we capture things and while capturing things like this. Do you see that? I captured like five things at once, except it doesn't work as well when uh, everything is so slow. Oh, he's adding pieces. Let's add a knight right here. Uh Oh, Oh yes, you can add pieces in this game. Let's put that right there. Oh no, everything's just been captured. That's not very good. Oh, now he can put all those things on the board. Let's do this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Let's add a pawn here. Is that gonna work? I'm still alive over there. Hmm. 
Now I just need to checkmate him. Which I'm still alive. Oh, he just took all my things. <laughs> okay. Uh, he just took all my things at the same time. This could be a problem. Um, let's add a bishop right here before he takes me. <laughs> oh, I still have a queen over here. I should do something with that. Let's take this. Add this. Oh, no. That's not going to work. He just took, took everything. Man, he has a lot of things. Oh, I just picked up some good stuff right here. I could take this. He's just adding it all. Oh, no. <laughs> I had a great plan until he, I might be in trouble. I, I, might, I might be in trouble in this position. There's a possible... Yep. Let's play again. So when you capture a piece, you can add it back to the board. Now, added pieces do have an even slower timer. So you can't just, like, cover the board and then, oh, there's going to be a huge battle in the middle of the board. What's going to happen? Let's bring everything ready to go. Okay, so this is going to be our point of capture first, right here and here. Okay, we, it was one and one. Not, not too shabby. Uh, I, I'm afraid I'm out of my league right here. Let's, let's take this and defend it at the same time. Oh, that knight could have escaped. Oh, his queen. I'm going to pick up his queen. And um, I seem to be in big trouble, though. I don't have a lot on the chessboard anymore for some reason. He's adding a lot of things. Man, this is crazy. I'm going to resign this gameplay again. <laughs> this is amazing, this, this chess variant where, you, you know, you take all the things and then you get to add them and then you don't have to wait. I love this variant. You've got to try this out if you haven't yet. You've got to try this out. There's sometimes nobody on the server because the best things in life nobody knows about. Mm. Let's pull back here. Think carefully now. Add a pawn. And we're going to take this and take this at the same time. And then take this also. All these things we're taking. Oh, no. And then we're going to take this. Uh-oh, my queen. Oh, there's no way to save my queen, which is bad. No. Oh, my knight, too. I could have saved that. Oh, <clears throat> this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Wow, I, I am so outclassed in this game. So let's try some of the other game modes before we end the episode. I will leave this table. GGS, I will say. <clears throat> and let's see what else you can do. There is a four-way crazy house and a bug house. So let's try four-way crazy house. We'll see if we have uh, four players who want to play. There's only four players on the entire server beside me, so this may not happen. But uh, yeah, I think it's not going to happen. But we can uh, we can stand up. We can see if it's going to happen. Because Stealth has joined. That's the guy I've been playing all this time. Oh, Pake Chalchonyad has joined. So there's just one more seat. This could happen. Let's see. Firehawk V has, is sitting around here. He might join. Oh, we have a four-player crazy house game. Are you ready for this? I'm not. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I want to do is castle kingside. Man, who, who's my partner? Oh, there's no partnerships. Oh, no. No. <laughs> this is so so crazy. I have no partner. Uh, my king. My king. I can add pieces, though. Let's add a bishop. That'll help. Oh, he's taking all the things. This is an amazing mind-bending experience. You have no teammate, but when you capture things, you can add more to the board. So your board can just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's add a bishop right here. So I can take this knight. Yes, okay. Meanwhile, I'm under attack on this side of the board, too, so let's take some things. Uh, well, that didn't really work. Okay, so back over to this area of the board. I am not checkmated yet, so let's defend this and add... Oh, ooh, that, this isn't looking good, especially considering the enemies. But let's let's add some things here, move, move some things into position. Let's add a bishop right here. Just keep adding bishops. Oh, you blocked me. That's a clever tactic. You're thinking of moving somewhere, and then, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I seem to have nothing left. Let's add more to the board. Mm, I don't know what to put on. Does it cover the white squares at least? The dark squares are not looking good. Right here. Capture with a pawn, and then put a pawn back, maybe? My dark squares are really shaky. Oh, man. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing on the dark squares. Let's add a rook right here. And then let's add a mm, bishop. Uh, what, what I'm going to do is try to take all the things at once. Oh, I can't quite do that. I need to get these back pawns going. Let's see. Is this really four player? There's no teammates. Hey, I survived. I survived. I outclassed whoever was on top. The black player is gone. Okay. Um, so now I'm under attack. Ooh. 
this is this is going to be a timing issue. When he takes my stuff, I have to I have to move. Do you see what see what's going to happen here? Oh no, I'm really in trouble. I'm pretty much in checkmate. But what can we do? Add things and move things is all we can do. Just keep adding. Po oh man, this is getting worse and worse. I am so. Oh no. Oh. Look at that. I'm dead. <laughs> this is amazing. So you can choose uh, two against two. You can choose teammates in this variant, or you can play everyone against everyone. That is such a mind-bending experience. The best four-player chess I've ever played. I mean, Bug House is great. And if you haven't played Bug House, you should go check it out. It's where you both have your own ch separate chess boards. I played Bug House at the national level when I was a kid because it's a lot easier to be better than your peers when you're a kid. As an adult, my peers are way better. But as a kid, I was better. So Bug House, lots of fun. This game is even more fun just because of the timing aspect. You do need a faster internet connection than I'm running right now. But still, you can get a lot of fun out of this. So I'm pretty much dead. Let's watch the end of this game. <clears throat> you can see a ton of pieces on the board because it's crazy house. So my army and Black's army have been <laughs> consumed and kind of added to the board. Look how many pawns red has. Maybe 15 red pawns. That's a good quantity, but it's not going to be simple. What's going to happen next? Looks like reds are coming in with the queens. Did you see that defensive move? Green took one of the queens and then added a pawn to defend the bishop. It basically ended up ahead of queen. Oh, there goes another queen. Lots of free material flying around here. But overall, red has two queens and green has zero. Actually, red has four queens. So I think red is definitely pushing the advantage here. Slow and steady is a fine strategy in this kind of game. There's no need to rush in. If you're down, if you're losing, then rushing can be a good idea. Mix it up and maybe cause your opponent to make a mistake. But slow and steady does work because of those timers. You can react to whatever your opponent does and not just die. This is a serious situation for green. That was another strong tactic there. Green, red just takes one of the pieces and then defends it at the same time. Really common to take one piece and then defend it. Or take one piece and then bring in a defense or capture the thing that's going to affect that square. Great tactics in this game. That was so fun. That was so fun. Good game, guys. Really appreciated you joining us. So when I joined the server, there was actually nobody playing at the time. But I said, hey, Chesswiz TV is coming. And they all flocked around. So wasn't that great? I definitely enjoyed that. Go join their friendly and fun community at judochess.com. You can go check them out. If you liked the show and want to see more Chesswiz TV, you can just look around the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Chesswiz TV. We have tons of awesome variants on here. Next episode, we're going to have a guest, and we're going to play a variant that we have named Nightmate. You will not want to miss it. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.